Thank you, Dr. Mark Robinson, for giving me the opportunity to share about my post-doctoral journey. It is a journey of purpose, excitement, and fulfillment. Pursuing a doctoral degree was one of the most difficult and also rewarding decisions in my life. At that point, I was the executive chairman of a publicly listed real estate company with more than 10,000 personnel working for a commercial building. I was also the co-founder of a personal development seminar company. It is arguably the largest seminar organizing company in the world. Like many of you, I had no time. I had no energy at the end of a working day, no confidence, and I hate to waste my hard-earned money. Until then, I also had never done a blended or classroom plus online learning course. I had all kinds of fear running through me, fear of failure and failure and fear of all kinds of problems. I told myself if I want to pursue my dreams and if I want to go find my life, I had to stretch myself. And so I started my doctoral journey and it became a meaningful exciting and fulfilling one. The values and benefits of earning a doctorate degree outweigh the investment of all my time, energy, and money. Let me quickly share with you findings from my doctoral research. My doctoral research revolves around financial literacy. First, I found that financial literacy is a 21st century competency. Second, financial literacy is a life skill to help all of us survive and succeed in a new economy. Third, there is a low level of financial literacy level across developing and developed economies. Fourth, inadequate financial literacy skills can cause detrimental effects on individuals, families, communities, and society. Fifth, low level of financial literacy is a growing problem all over the world. Last but not least, sorry. Six, there is a lack of effective initiative to address inadequate financial literacy skills. Last but not least, improving financial literacy level requires active support from public, private, as well as people sectors. In the process of doing my doctoral studies, I reflected on how I can serve a higher calling and fulfill a worthier cause and make the world a better place. Before I graduated, Dr. Mark Robinson made all of us in our cohort do a presentation about our past, our present, as well as our future. I don't know whether if Dr. Robinson can still relate to this photograph. It was taken while I was doing the presentation. I asked myself, how then can I help to improve financial literacy level? And so I started, I started a company called Gex Ventures that eventually became what we call a movement. We started Gex Venture with the mission, creating wealth, impacting lives. And then we started Gex Academy. GEX Academy is an approved training organization licensed by the Ministry of Manpower, Singapore government to conduct financial education. And we also conduct investment and entrepreneurial programs. In the next phase, we started GEX Global Assets. It is a fund management company with exemption from our central bank, otherwise known as the Monetary Authority of Singapore, Singapore government to help invest funds for accredited investors. We expanded the group of companies by pioneering GEX Global Capital. We work very closely with the Canadian Securities Exchange as well as the OTC market to help clients transform their business models, raise capital, list their companies and globalize their businesses. Last year, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, we started GEX technology to help clients improve their bottom line through technology. All our valued customers, when they're satisfied with our support and services, we request 
that they sign a press card to donate their thoughts, their time, their talents, as well as their treasures, including money to charity and worthwhile causes. We have set a record in the Singapore Book of Records for committing the most number of people to help the poor, the needy, as well as the disadvantaged. Together with our charities, we support more than 20,000 children every year. We also reach out to 3,500 elderly. We run a charity that look after a community of the poorest of the poor, including a community of 258,400 migrant workers. Gag Ventures, within a short period of time, has become a multiple award-winning movement. We have won, for example, the E50 Awards, and we were the youngest and arguably the fastest growing company to win the E50 Awards in the past 25 years. We are also the only distinguished and coveted Corporate Singapore Human Resources Award winner from the Singapore Human Resources Institute. We also won the Customer Relationship Excellence Award from the Asia Pacific Customer Service Consortium. We are also Singapore's fastest growing companies 2020 and we won this recognition from the Straits Times, which is our mainstream newspaper in our country. Financial Times, one of the most prominent financial newspaper, recognized us as the top 500 high growth companies in the Asia Pacific region. What we are extremely proud of is that Gex Ventures won every champions of good recognition from our Deputy Prime Minister, Heng Sui Kiet. He is projected to become our next Prime Minister. For all these awards and accolades, I want to say a very big thank you to all the professors and staff who helped me walk the doctoral journey at the Rossier School of Education at the University of Southern California. I am eternally grateful to all of you because of your impact in my life. It has not only changed my life, it has helped me and my team to be able to continue the good work that you have done in my life, to be able to make a positive difference on the people and the environment around us. Thank you.